Eric has 3,500 pesos. Out of this amount, he owes his mother 14% and his sister 76%. Supposing he pays one half of his debt to his mother and sister. Now, yung tanong, how much will he have left after he pays his debt? At ito ay isa sa mga questions dito sa PNP entrance exam, quantitative reasoning. At ito ay sinesend sa isa sa ating mga followers. Pero itong, kung nakikita nyo meron tayong number series dyan, na-upload na natin yan. So, galing basahin yung description ng video ito sa ating YouTube channel. So, maraming paraan sa pag-solve nito, pero bibigyan ko kayo ng Two ways kung paano ito isolve. Let's do solution number one. Doon tayo sa utang niya. Meron siyang utang na 14% at 76% sa mother at sa sister niya. Out of this amount, he owes his mother 14% and 76% doon sa 3,500. So, ang unang gawin natin dito sa ating solution number 1, i-add muna natin itong si 14% at, sa, at saka si 76%. This will give us 90%. So, 90% of 3,500, yan yung utang niya. So, yan yung utang niya at meron tayong background na dog at yung 10%. Yan na lang yung matitira niya. Supposing he pays one half of his debt to his mother and sister, how much will he have left after he pays his debt? Ibig sabihin nito itong 90% i-divide natin sa 2. So 90% divided by 2, this will give us 45%. Now since yung tanong ay how much will he have left, after he pays his debt. So, ang i-add natin ay itong 45% at itong 10%. So, 45 plus 10%, this is 55%. Therefore, ganito ang pagkasulat natin. 55% of 3,500 Yan yung natitira niya after he pays his debt. Now, pwede nyo na itong isolve. So, itong 55%, i-move lang natin yung decimal twice to the left side. So, this is 0.55 ang of multiplication tapos 3,500. 0.55 times 3,500, this will give us 1,925. 1,925 nasa letter A. So, yan na yung sagot. Isa pang paraan sa pag-multiply nito. So, we have 50% of 3,500. Mas madali na lang kasi kapag ganito, this will give us 1,750. Now, kung sa 10% naman tayo of 3,500, that is 350, Tapos, ang 5%, bali, half rin sa 350. So, 5% of 350, this is 175. 50% at itong 5%, that is 55%, yan lang ang i-add natin. So, 1,750 plus 175, this is 1,925. So, yan na yung sagot. Now, let's do solution number two. Pariho lang din naman ang gagawin natin. Pero, ang pagkakaiba ay direkta tayo sa mismong yung 90%. So, i-add muna natin si 14% at saka si 70 per, 76%. So, this is 90%. Now, 90% of 3,500, kung ano meron si Eric, 3,500, so 0.9 multiplication ang of... 3,500. So, this will give us 3,150. Now, half lang daw sa 3,150. So, i-divide natin yan ng 2. 
So 3,150 divided by 2, this will give us 1,575. Now, huwag kalimutan na itong 90% of 3,500, yan yung mismong utang niya sa mother at sister niya. So, meron pa yung 10% na matitira. Now, yung 10% of 3,500, this is 350. Itong 350, siyempre i-add natin dito. So, this is... 1,925. So, ito yung sagot. 1,925. Paalala lang when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help you kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.